was just trying to get your attention, Roger. Not so easy. You mean it's about the car, the camper? Well, I mean, we haven't been camping in over a year and a half. And it's crazy to drive around in that great big thing getting 11 miles to the gallon. And Jack Allen says that the brakes are going, uh, needs a new radiator, and that'll be $300 that we don't have in the checking account. So you take it out of the savings. I won't. The savings is so that we can go on that vacation that we need so desperately, huh? I'd love to stay and talk about it, except I have to be in Goldsboro at 2 o'clock. Hello? Oh, hi, Margie. Uh, no, I don't know where he is. It's Wednesday, Margie. Doctor's day off. Mine, too. <laughs> yeah, well, if I can find him, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, okay? You're welcome. <laughs> That's what nurses are for. Bye-bye. Any ideas about dinner? Actually, I might not make it back tonight. If I'm as far as Goldsboro, I might as well push on and try to make some sales in Wilmington. Uh, will you call me? I'll be in Goldsboro at 2 o'clock at Beasley's. I'll try to call you from there. <laughs> Anything hot? Oh, nothing but the weather. Thanks for telling me. Radio said it's gonna hit 90 by noon. Nah, shouldn't bother you. Fellas name Martino. You all sweat a lot. Come from hot countries, don't you? <laughs> you slum a wiser guy, but I'm from a flat of bush, you remember? Mm-hmm. Jerry Sam Hawks. Ah, uh, we don't worry about things like you do up in New York. Uh, you should have learned that in a year down here. But he's a local guy. Won't he be heading this way? You know he will. Be back in jail by sundown. Noon, I'd almost bet. He's not in jail now, Yates. What are we doing about it? Ah, uh, Jerry Sam's just a poor, dumb country boy. Doing seven for knocking off a gas station. <laughs> He'll go up for that again. Waiting is what we're doing, waiting. River High. My kid brother done got in trouble again. I gotta go bail him out. Sure, hop in. Thank you. Going far? No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gathering weeds. Huh? You know, foxtails and weeds, syllabase. Well, this should hold you. As long as you don't do any racing. One of the laws of war is that prisoners are to be treated decently. Another is that civilians, persons not in the armed forces, are not to be killed or wounded. Let's discuss for a moment. Who would like to comment on that? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in detention until 5 o'clock today, Powell. Who, me? 
Excuse me, ma'am. I didn't come from a cousin, pal. Jerry Sam Hobbs. What are you doing here? You know perfectly well you're supposed to be in prison. <laughs> Stop it. There will be no demonstrations in this room. Pal, get your butt up and come on. <laughs> Ms. Melchior, I reckon you aim at the call of police. For once in your wretched life, Jerry Sam, you reckon right. Maybe yes, maybe no. Interruption. Eddie, would you go on reading, please? You are a wonder, Jerry Sam. What the hell are you doing out of prison? You got feeling low. Then had enough is all. I bet you did. Well, how'd you get out? Just went up the board and asked him. <laughs> I bet you did. Hey, probably you could use your girl, huh? You ain't wrong about that. I'm tired of making do with dreams. Well, we can go back and get Julie. She does it with everybody. You fool. I don't want nobody that does it with everybody. You, you think I'm a creep or something? Yeah, I told you, Jerry Sam, you are a wonder. Well, you took care of Miss Milk here. What you say to that dumb old thing? I told her I had a gun, and if she dropped a dime on me, I was gonna blow your head off. Blow my head off? Sure. Why not? Well, where are we going to, Jerry Sam? Oh, I don't give a damn to tell you the truth. Just ride around a while, listen to the radio, have some fun, just be free. Still have a fever? Just a touch, maybe. But at least he's quiet. He'll be fine. Why don't you get us some burgers, honey? I'll keep him comfortable. Oh, bring me a lemon slush if they have it. Okay. Be a scare. I gave myself a scare. Imagine being on I-95 and out of diapers. How'd I give you a scare? Move the car. Move the car. Janelle, honey, you moved the car. Well, where's the car? Where's Bobby? Man, it's great to be driving a set of wheels again. I got a mind just to go on forever. What's up there, Mal? Close to Florida, Jerry Sam. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, close to Orlando, Florida. What you think about that? Fine and dandy. <laughs> Maybe we just go down there and shake hands and Mickey Mouse. Yeah, man, we'll have a shake up some girls on the beach, too. You sure picked us a crazy car, Jerry Sam. You better find us a side road. We got something here to dump.
bad. Come on. Come you on. Get away from there. Hey. Hey. Hey, boy, let's have some fun. You ain't the one to pass me by. <laughs> when I was thumbing, damn, she didn't shoot right by me. And even after she didn't slow down. Yeah, it's crazy. Who's gonna go and pass up a good-looking boy like you? I saw you. I didn't. I didn't. I always did want to travel with credit cards. T take the cards and, and take the money. And, and, and take the camper, too. Just, just let us get out. I, I, I won't tell anybody. You, you'd promise that? Oh, yeah. Oh, as God is my witness. I don't know, Lois. It's, it's just too good a story. Uh, what? When, Seeing when somebody about to drown a baby in a bag? It'd be awfully hard not to tell that, and it wouldn't. I never saw any such thing. You got honest eyes. I do believe you. Please let us get out. Hey, look, she got donuts. That ain't all she got, pal. She got a whole lot more. Please let us get out. May we please, sir? Sir? Did you say sir? I like that. I like that a lot. Try. Go ahead. Go ahead, try. You can get out now if you want to. Down! Okay, what was he wearing? May I ask why it matters what he was wearing? I mean, some kid takes our car on a joyride around the block. You find the car, you found Bobby. That's how to look at him, Mr. Devonport. Well, how else would you look at it? I mean, we're working people. Nobody kidnaps the child of working people. You know what he's thinking, Henry. What? He's thinking what kind of people would leave a baby alone in a car. Honest, there wasn't. It's gonna be fine. I'll be right back. Parker Farm was busted into early this morning. Very ugly. Ugly? How? Tore it up for no reason, whatever. Then seems like he used the whole place, well, like for a men's room, for a toilet. Psychopaths do that. Mm hmm. And there was some hamsters chopped up. It couldn't be Jerry Sam. Heck, he's just a country boy, yeah, I know. I'm awful dumb. No, no, I, I think you're smart. You're smart enough to know that people who take babies don't ever, ever get away. So... What's your name? Terry. 
Are you a lesbian? What? I know a fella named Terry. That's a boy's name. I just wondering if you was a queer. Well, we'll find out. You ain't gonna find out nothing. Get your butt back there and sit down. I'm the one that's gonna be doing the finding out. Ain't that right, Terry, baby? What's your husband do? He sells computers. Sound like a sissy job to me. He give you any kids? No. No. Yeah. I bet he don't take good care of you at all. Dog, we got ourselves a home on wheels. <laughs> what I got here. Plenty of shells, too. Uh-huh. You wanted me to drive, right? Me and Pal sitting in the front here, you in the back. I forgot to come to say I, I bet you did. You'd have blown both our heads off. Give me that, Pal. Give it here. Crank that one the rest of the way down. I don't want to drive with no mess coming down the glass. You call me sir. Sir, no. No. Hold the wheel, Pal. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. to see the look on your face. <laughs> oh, come on. I, I was just joking with you. Come on, I was teasing you. Go ahead, go on drive now. Go ahead, take the wheel now. I like you, truthfully. <laughs> Ain't he something else? He always was crazy. <gasps> I know you stupid, pal, but don't you even let that cross your mind. That little one's our ticket. Sir? What's the matter with you? I done told you I like you. I have to go to the bathroom. Well, ain't you got one in this fancy room? It doesn't work. Yeah, it's broke all right. Remember when you took tests in school? Yeah. Well, I want you to play like this is a test. Now, it don't make no never mind to me if you flunk. That little old boy back here, he ain't gonna like it at all. I understand that. Now, can I just have a look at him a minute? He's fine. He's sick. I know babies. I'm a nurse. Now, he's gonna need a bottle, and he's gonna need water, and... and Woman, I told you he's fine! Shut your... You get me one of them hot girly magazines. They got good ideas, huh? things you would make to do. It's a light blue Ford wagon, they tell me. Oh, yeah, and it's uh, got Texas plates on it. Uh, let's see here, we've got BNX 709. So if, uh, if y'all see that wagon, just keep away from it. Don't go near it, because there's probably a fella in it that's what they call armed and what they call dangerous. Now, let's take a look. Hey, look at that. We got out here on the day. We got some good old muggy humidity always with it, ain't it? Remember, they're looking for a station wagon. They start wanting a camper. They won't know it's on account of something you've done. And that's gonna be it for the kitty. You must think I'm awful dumb.
Here, hold this. I gotta go myself. You picturing out? This is our house, pal. A man don't go inside his house. Are you sure? Because I really need a box of chocolate cookies with vanilla cream. I told you, lady, we don't have none. Well, if you don't have any of those, then uh, do you have a box of disposable diapers? When am I now? Baby's so sick, he probably won't need diapers. But, uh, but I bet he will have a terrific appetite. Moldy. I must have got the wrong door. Sure is hot out here. Y'all be careful on the road now. There are perverts everywhere. I want to get a ballpoint, get his license number before he rapes somebody. I heard him say he got the wrong door. Well, then why did he go on in the means, honey? Do you have any baby aspirin? Don't carry them. straight for about another mile and then turn south. Oh, no, that's just a little side road. We'd, we'd be much faster on the I-95. Uh-huh. Right into a roadblock. You full of bright ideas, ain't you? Which reminds me, I got a little bone to pick with you, something naughty you've done back there at that what? filling station. What? 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 I, I just didn't do anything. Uh-huh. That's what I mean. You didn't lost some points back there. You didn't tell me this piece of junk got a leaky radiator. Damn good thing I found her. We'd have been in a whole heap of trouble, now, wouldn't we? Now, you gonna be honest with me yes, from now on? Yes, I will. Yeah, you got something else to tell me? My, my, my husband... What about your my, husband? My what? husband expects me to meet him in Goldsboro at 2 o'clock at Beasley's Mechanical Contractors. It's very important. It's to sign some tax papers, and if I don't show up, he'll know something's happened to me. How's that sound to you, pal? Sound like she's whistling Dixie out her elbow. It's to sign a 1002T tax extension paper. Now, if you're even one day late sending in your 10OT, then you go to jail. Roger, Roger will know something's happened to me, and he's very likely to call out the highway patrol. So what if he does? Big deal. You idiots. Roger knows where I went to cut weeds this morning. Now, think. If he goes to look for me at the pond and he finds that wagon there and this camper gone, he's going to know something's happened to me. Now, how the hell is that going to look if he calls out the highway patrol? So old Roger's in Goldsboro, huh? I didn't even have to tell you this. I mean, you could have... I could have just let you fall into the trap. I wonder why you did. Because I'm scared to death of you. And I see you're very, very smart. And if, if I'm not honest with you, you're going to kill me. You ain't so awful dumb yourself. Now are you?
like you to take a look inside, see if anything's missing. My boy is missing. Sorry, that was stupid. Would you please take a look? Yeah, sure. Found a way. Across that bridge, there's some tracks. Someone was parked. Appears they were cutting weeds. Cutting weeds? <laughs> Women do it in these parts. Dry weeds. Put in bowls, you know. No. No, I don't. You recognize this? Yeah, I bought that for Bobby yesterday. Well, that's good news. Mr. Davenport was found on the other side of the bridge. Why is that good news, huh? Well, it's better Bobby was taken over there instead of to the pond. Martino, you want to come over on this side of the bridge, please? OK, I'm on my way. Look, I know how lousy it is when there's nothing but questions. <laughs> you couldn't. You couldn't. You're right, I couldn't. It's a charm. You mean, uh, off a bracelet? Sort of. Only it doesn't have a hole to attach it, so it's probably part of a set. You know, like you're baking a birthday cake. Oh, come on, those are made of plastic. They didn't used to be. That's old. So why she got this old charm in her purse? Elementary, Yates. She's dissatisfied with her life. She carries around a boat she found baked in a cake. She dreams of a trip over water. Hey, Gilliam. You ought to be making a note of this. We want an old woman who cuts weeds and dreams of a boat trip. Maybe not so old. And she doesn't like things made out of plastic. This is a color a young woman would wear. Not even picking out her comb, I can tell you she's blonde. Oh, gosh darn, Martino, why don't you just come on out and tell us her name and what kind of wheels she's got? Burns the hell out of me, I can't. I saw her Sunday night. You what? I must have seen her. I was at the same concert. But like the dumb dago I am, I didn't know she was going to be kidnapped today. Uh, put out a revised APB. Suspected kidnapper has new transport and maybe a female hostage. No description on the vehicle or the female at this time. Hey, Spray. Anything new from that switchboard? Zip. Unless you caught a woman who thought she saw a pervert in a gas station. Oh, yeah? Well, what kind of pervert? Big leg. She caught him coming out of the ladies' restroom. Oh. Would you believe she phoned in the number to the camp he was driving? God ain't gonna help me. He never has. That's why I quit prison. That's why I take whatever it is I want. What's that? It was on a bridge with a big rock in it. Like for drowning a cat. Yes, this couldn't be our country boy Jerry Sam, could it? No, it ain't his M.O. Well, from the footprints, she picked up something and ran real fast. Mm. Martino? I read you. Now, there's only one thing he sees missing from the car. It's an auto club map to Florida. Orlando. Yeah. Come on. Read to me why. I couldn't. I feel too sick. You better read to me. You don't make me mad at you, do you? Go on, read. I 
would like to relate to you an experience I had during this past summer. I'm a 21-year-old woman attending college in New York State. My sister and I both look alike, tall, blonde, and very sexy. She is more daring than me, however, and has always been a swinger. Must I? Yeah, it gets good. Come on. On a Thursday, I flew down to visit her in New Jersey, where she lives with her wealthy husband. While Joe was at work, we donned our revealing bikinis and went for mm -hmm. a swim in the secluded backyard. At about three, the paper boy came to the back door to collect the money. I don't know what to say. I... God knows the FBI has facilities. But I got a few hunches I want to follow, and I need time. But you're leaving this up to me. I won't kid you, Mr. Davenport. It's all hindsight. Whatever we do, if it goes sour, you'll wonder what if the rest of your life. I wish we knew something more about the person they got with them. Oh, I know a lot about her. That's not what Chief Yates said. No, oh, Chief Yates doesn't know nothing from nothing. I said I know a lot about her. You don't her. even know her name. No, I don't. But I do know that when she sees these guys, she doesn't run back to the car. Somehow she gets Bobby and almost gets away with you. Let's say I'm just looking forward to meeting her a whole lot. <sighs> well, aren't you required to call the FBI in a kidnapping? Yes. But they won't get into it until 24 hours have passed. That's when it's presumed that a state line has been crossed. I don't know. Okay. We'll let you handle it a while longer. I was afraid you'd say that. I fell asleep with a glorious relaxation. <clears throat> and when I awoke, a half hour later, he was gone. He had written a message with the peanut butter on my stomach. It said, thank you. Peanut butter? You figure it was the crunchy kind, Jerry Sam? I figure you better shut your mouth and keep your eyes on the road, pal. Lots of ideas in there, wasn't it? You ever done anything like that? Me neither. But I aim to. I figure every man ought to have a shot at something like that before he goes. Seems only fair. You know, the craziest thing I have. Uh... I didn't think I'd like reading that stuff. I mean, I didn't want to at all, but... Turn me on. You got a nice body, you know that? Thank you. Your middle name wouldn't be Judy, would it? Judy? I remember, uh... From Vacation Bible School, the story of old Judith. Seems she uh, got this fella into her bed so he wouldn't be paying no attention while she chopped his head. Hey, Jerry Sam, sign says Goldsboro off to the right. Well, hang a right, pal. We're gonna take Terry to see her husband. Jerry Sam, you have more guts than any man in the world. Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's an 800 tire. Some kind of light truck tread pickup. Could be a van or a camper or anything. Well, it's something. Don't need much. You want another piece? Yeah, bring me something. Hey, let's get a list of everybody around here who belongs to a garden club. Garden club? Garden club, yeah. A lady goes out to cut dry weeds, has got to belong to a garden club. Yeah. We cross-check against the owner of every light truck or van registered in the county. Pretty long shot. Hmm. I, know. I know. Can you beat it with a shorter one? Yeah, well, I'll show you. I'm going to turn this can of worms over to the FBI. No! He asked us not to. What are you doing? Will you give me the phone, please? Oh, look, it's his kid. Don't call him. Yeah. Martino, you're not back in Brooklyn, New York, so don't do something dumb again, okay? Look, if something goes wrong, I'll take the rap. I'll put it in writing. Yeah, well, and you took the rap up north and got sent down here, remember? You got it wrong. That was my call. I got tired of that thing hanging over my head. Martino, narcotics, good cop, but maybe on the take. My call. I quit then. All right. 
Well, I says, I'd worry about you getting your butt in the sling. Yates, I appreciate your concern, but save it for Davenport. He's the one whose kid is missing. Didn't we order some ice cream? Should have ordered pizza, man. Chicken off. Thanks anyway. Catch you next time. That was quick. How'd it go? Landed. Sold him the whole software pack. <laughs> no kidding. With the Moody's in today. Not him dead. Signed and sealed. Now then. A small celebration is called for. How about lunch? You certainly have the gift of gab, Mr. Seaton. Roger. You surely do, Roger. Mm. Well, it'll be the end of me. One day, I'll gab one sweet word too many. Wake up married. <laughs> That'll be the day. Huh, I'm on time for once. Anything special? Just call back on a sheet. OK. Have a nice afternoon. I expect I will. Nice cactus. Whole afternoon off, huh? Thing is, I took my lunch already. I had a sandwich at my desk. Around the corner? Let's we'll say you and me mosey on over there for a bit of dessert. Roger, I can't imagine what you mean by that. you to sign a paper. Well, they, they may have to look for it. You call me sir, and you look at me when I'm talking to you. Sir, I'll be as quick as I can. You better, because if you knew more than five minutes, we're going to steal us a new set of wheels. And wherever we get to, that little one, he ain't going to get there with us. And that's going to be all you're doing. You believe me? Sir, I believe you. Good. Hey, why not go in there, too, and keep an eye on her? Pal, you ain't got the brains of a jackass. What do you mean? Anybody see a good-looking woman like her with you, they don't know she's got to be kidnapped. Now, go on. to know if you could sit for him with Randy tonight. Okay. You go ask your mom. I'll hold on. We don't have anybody by that name, honey. He, yes, he, he's a salesman. Computer software. I know he's here because his car's out front. About six? Okay, you tell her. All right, I'll hold on. I just came on, but you're right. He checked in a little while ago, but he hasn't checked out yet. He must still be with Mr. Beasley. Just call him. Just well, call him. I couldn't, honey. Mr. Beasley's on long distance. It's very important. You know... You got a really beautiful set of feet. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. Just get out of here. I thought you wanted to get your car. Yeah. Yeah, all right, I'll get it. You take off. Uh, I'll see you at the, 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 the bar. Are you okay, Roger? Take off. Roger, you're not standing me up. I'm waiting out on the street. I'm following you.
but you get on over and get in. Go on, you dumb moron. Get on over there. One time, Jerry Sam. You can call me dumb just once too often. I'll you to get. Here. Here. Go ahead, take it. You stay here now. I'm sorry, I, I can't wait any longer. Which way is uh, to Mr. Beasley's office? He's still on long distance. Which way? Well, hold it. This Mr. Seaton, did he have a tan jacket and a brown tie? Yes, yes, he does. Why? You just lost him, honey. He found himself another date. What? I... Jill nabbed him. If you'd have turned your head a minute back, you'd have seen him leave. <laughs> Sam's got him over to gas station. Don't worry, they'll be back. You get your papers signed. You have the keys? Hell no, he's got them. Damn. Why? What if I did have the keys? Well, we take off. Don't be. He's ugly, he's crazy, said so yourself. We could go to motel. Have a lot of fun. So handsome. When I was reading those things. With you, I was thinking about I'm not Jerry Sam. No. If only we could get rid of him. Not myself. Well, how can we, Bow? Oh. I got an idea. You'd have to help me. Well, I'll do anything. How? First, I gotta be driving, and, and then when I say something to you, you gotta say right something back. Well, tell me what. I'll tell you. Pucker up your lips, I'm gonna give you a little sample there. <laughs> it's a break, wide open. For what? She's had a call from Goldsboro. This woman goes into a gas station to powder her nose. Would you believe she finds a message written in soap on the mirror? Come on. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on things. Sam. Shut up, stupid. I'm sleeping. Uh, I smell something hot. Gotta be that damn radiator again. <clears throat> Gage looks fine to me. Yeah, but I smell something hot. It feels hot on my foot. Maybe the gauge don't work right. Yes, that's right. It, it sticks sometimes. You heard her. Reckon I ought to stop and have a look? Yeah, go ahead. Stop and take a look. Four two two dispatch. Go ahead. I'd like you to run a make on a camper for me. South Carolina R I K five zero something. You got a number missing. I know a number's missing. It was covered with mud or something, so it'll take you longer. Four. What's that for? That kid crap pervert stuff? It's for me. Just tying up loose ends.
I tell you? Hose is loose. So tighten it up, stupid. It'd be better if you did. You always was the best mechanic between us. Um, I mean, if you fix it, it'll stay fixed, know what I mean? You want for me to get out there and fix that hose? I'd sure be better if you would. Must have slipped. Hand and foot pal. I swear, Jerry Sam, I wasn't doing nothing. Climb on out, boy. Go on. Climb on out. Go on now. Quit trying to scare me, Jerry Sam. It's crying shame, boy. You could have shook hands with Mickey Mouse. Oh, cut that out. We're kin. That's the only reason I'm gonna give you a head start. Get to running, cousin pal. Go on, boy! A little head start. Notion about him. That's why I yanked the distributor wire. Now, what could give that fool idea to run me over? Huh? I did. I told him I'd go to a motel with him if we got rid of you. That was the right answer. I tell you something, woman, you'd lied to me. I swear on the Bible I'd have blown you away right here, and that kid, too. Now, come on. No one him found here. Come on, help me get what's left of poor pal in the back. Come on! Come on! Syntax got me. Come on, if you gotta be scared out of her bird, there's ain't no spelling bee. If you can spell the H, you can spell her. This lady can spell, I know her. I mean, she got class. She decorates her house with, uh, with dry weed. She goes to the symphony. She got brains and guts. She's not only kept herself alive with this nut, she's kept that kid and that baby alive. She's an exceptional human being. You think she spelled like one of your rednecks? Excuse me. You know, last time I heard a speech like that, it was this teenage kid who'd fallen for a hooker. Okay. Okay. They stopped you, that's for sure. But I don't think the woman wrote that.
making you pretty mad at me. I'm hurting. Well, if it ain't tight, it don't do no good. You'd run away while I was getting my 40 wings. But I, I'm... I'm hurting because you don't trust me. Well, now, I'd like to. But you done did some things that make me not. Well, I was stupid. I mean, I didn't know you. And, and, and now that I know you, I like you. <laughs> oh. How's your marriage? I mean, how's that sissy husband of yours treat you? Truthfully. Truthfully. I've learned a lot about my marriage in the last few hours. And about my husband. Thanks to you, I'll probably divorce him. Look, I'm gonna do my sleeping now. I'm near dead. She had sort of brown hair, and they was driving one of those little foreign jobs. Uh, VW, maybe? Yep, that's it. Uh-huh, Japanese. Okay, so we're... Okay, so we're looking for an older woman who's driving some kind of a small foreign... Wait a minute, who are we talking about? Why, well, the lady that called about the pervert in the ladies' room. No, I want to talk about the one who came in here shopping. The one who bought the diapers. Describe her. If you want her name and license number, she charged her the gas. I got her slip right here someplace. Here, that's her. Bingo. Uh, Seaton. S-E-T-O-N. She's a nurse. Hops has her camper. Information on that's on the wire. Maybe a faint chance they're headed for Florida. Faint chance my foot they are headed for Florida. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, sir. We're uh, just sitting here and waiting. Right. Just wait, waiting. You well, got it. Well, I asked around some about the lady. Terry Seaton. So? She's pretty good looking. Come on, man. She's smart, but uh, very quiet, it seems. Kind of a lost soul, one of them said. She has trouble making up her mind. Any line on a husband? Yes, salesman. He's been in lots of lines. Sarge, I cleared up that jam. Uh, he's off and away on the road. It's fault he plays around. What an idiot. Man, would I love to meet that idiot. He probably almost did. What do you mean? I got into their house. The calendar says he had a sales appointment today in Goldsboro. Goldsboro again? Yeah. It's, uh... Beasley Mechanical Contractors, directly across from that gas station. Mamma mia, some lost soul. Huh? Well, don't you see? She actually gets that nut to drive her to her husband. Some lost soul. Well, I guess she missed him somehow. For what it's worth, I got the name of his motel in Goldsboro. Uh, can I see it? Yeah. Boy, you are overheated. You are getting personally involved the way an officer never should. Yeah. Martino. What? Uh, you got a couple of days, do you? Why don't you just take them? Thought you'd never ask. Thank you. All right, that's my question, Mr. Seaton. Did you see your wife from Goldsboro today? Of course I haven't. 
I'm up here on business. Now, why in the hell should I? I don't want to scare you, Mr. Seaton, but there's some reason to think her camper was stolen by an escaped convict. Just like her. Left the keys in it, huh? Well, not exactly. You see, we're afraid she may have been in the vehicle at the time and abducted with it. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Now, that's ridiculous. Look, I, I don't believe you. And even if I did, what could I do about it? Well, you might be concerned. Me? How? Concerned about her. Yeah, well, I, I would be if I believed you. Now, what kind of scam are you trying to pull on me? You still here? Not for long. Hey, quick, untie me. We gotta get going. I like it here. Got some good sleep. I think we're gonna stay here. Oh, you nuts. We can't stay anywhere till we fix up the one mistake we've made. What mistake was that? Well, we didn't mean to, but we stole a baby. Now, to get a baby back, they'll call out the Army and the Navy. You didn't steal no baby. Me and Powell did. Thanks a lot. But I'm in this just as deep as you are. Like a fool. I bought us gas. What are you talking about? Gas is an interstate commodity. And there's a law called complicity, and when I bought us an interstate commodity, I gave up my rights as a non-guilty hostage. It's true. I saw it on a, on a rerun of Streets of San Francisco. Would Carl Malden lie? No, I guess he wouldn't. Correct, honey. Honey, we are in this together. Now, what we got to do is we got to get that kitty back, and then they'll call off the dogs. You think so? I mean, even after we done shot Pal? Oh, he's nothing. He's just poor trash. You know, they, they don't care when it's just poor trash shot. There's some truth in that. Of course they don't. They don't care at all. Now, come on. Untie me! Why don't we leave the baby off there? Ain't no good. It's the kind of place to come out with guns and dogs. I think you've been playing with me. What way? I don't think you intend to leave the baby off at all. Every place I say, you say, that's no good. You're right about one thing. We're gonna have to dump that baby somewhere to keep the law off us. Not dump him, sir. He has to be found alive. Yeah, that's a tough. We can't keep it. We can't leave it for no signpost, Nick. What are we going to do, sir? Stop calling me sir. When you go for a fella, you don't call him sir. <laughs> I got an idea. We ship it to him. <laughs> oh, You're kind of out of your county, aren't you? I'm just passing through. I'm on a hop sting. Uh, 92 miles an hour? Or you checked in with us? No. I better call and see if this is OK.
Vincent Martino. Says he's, uh, check it out of Charleston. Mm -hmm. You got exactly two minutes to come out with a ticket. Else there's gonna be one less little old picking any girl alive. You done seen me in action. You know I do it, but... Oh, yes. I ain't no need to fret with that. He can breathe through the cloth. I've done it many times in my sleeping bag. Two minutes. That's all you got. See, why not? Put it on the scales and I'll weigh it. What's the contents? Just come over here and look perfectly natural. Now stop looking at me that way. And get that little girl away from the camper. Hey, Lulu, that water's for the customers. Now skedaddle. If you want, dearie, the ladies is just outside the back on the right while I write up your ticket. It. You kill that poor little old girl. You ain't no better than me. If you'd just done what I told you and come back with the ticket on time, I wouldn't have had to blow her and her dolly to pieces. No, but you're just thinking of yourself. You tried to run away from Jerry Sam. Now, that's ignorant, isn't it? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I'm just kidding. I didn't hurt her no how. I knew you was going to sneak out on me. So I fired the gun off and wheeled around back just to see the look of surprise on your face when I caught you. <laughs> like I told you, my mama didn't raise no food. Look, I don't care. Believe she's alive or she ain't, it don't make no never mind to me. We're going east. Yes, ma'am? Florida is south. Yes, ma'am, it is. That's the gospel truth. It surely is. That big noise gave my Sarah some of me space. You got a lollipop for? Nine or six, male child reported found unharmed at the spell store. Into the line. Oh, what are you going to do? What can I do? They got me a swat. This is it for Jerry Sam. But put in a good word for me, all right? 
Tell him I could have killed that child a hundred times, but I didn't. Please? All right. Why don't you put Ducky head down? They may start shooting before I can get my hands up. Dummies. Lucky for me, there's only two of them. Reach up underneath that seat and pass me a couple of shells. <laughs> Baby doll, you ain't no match for your ass, Sam. Now, you do like I told you. You reach me in shells. Now. Going back to the motel and had a few drinks with a man I know. The truth is, I smashed. Mm -hmm. We're aware. See, the Goldsboro police have already interviewed this man you had the drinks with. Well, are there any clues? Are you tracking this nut? Your concern is a little late in coming, Mr. Seaton. I mean, here's your wife off heaven knows where with some psycho, and you're you just getting around understand. asking about it. You her. don't understand. I'm trying to control myself. Terry and I are just so close. I love her so damn much. I'm afraid if I start to think about her, I'll just come apart. Don't you see? I do. Perfectly. been down this way? No. I was once. School trip in one of them yellow buses. Hot dogs, lemonade. Jack Island to see the bird nest. That's what they told us. Except old man Melton. He said, see how the rich folks live. That's going to give us ambition. <laughs> that fool. <laughs> oh. He said if we'd done our books good, we could have a house on Jack Island like all them rich folks. That guy. <laughs> we going to Jack Island? Yeah, we can get there. That ain't no great bet. You don't have a chance, Jerry Sam. They're gonna shoot you dead at the next roadblock. Don't you think I know that? I've been waiting every minute since I quit prison to be dead. There ain't but one question. How much fun I'm gonna have? And who gets to go with me? <laughs> be lucky it's gonna be you. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Come on, don't look so down. We'll find us a nice house. Love all night. Then I'll shoot you. I shoot myself too. Just like one of them suicide deals, you know? We're gonna lay there so pretty and so pitiful. When they find us, them cruel men, they're gonna cry. They're gonna cry. You believe me, they're gonna. I remember a stretch roll. That fool of a bus driver, he played like he'd been lost just staring in this curve up here. You should have heard us kids holler. Oh, yeah, and I reckon like there's a bridge up around that curve. Now, wouldn't that be a pretty place to lay a trap? Well, then turn back. There ain't no way, woman. There's hounds on her heels, too. But they're not going to wait this time, Jerry Sam. They're just going to shoot. Please, let's just turn back. Honey? No, ma'am, we ain't turning back. We're just going to duck our heads and whop on through. Yes, ma'am, that's what we're going to do. If there is a trap, which they probably ain't one, no how. <laughs> Get ready. Get coming, sir. 
Captain sent for some divers. Listen, I talked to a couple of your guys. They say they didn't actually see hops in the vehicle. Huh, they wouldn't have seen nothing. Bullock's got to knock him down to the flow boys. Hey! Kind of late at night for a cruise, don't you think, pal? Yeah, must be some kind of a nut. What's out there? Jack Island. You miss that, your next stop is Spain. What's on Jack Island? Uh, a few beach houses. Nobody now, though. It's out of season. I say is we ought to let bygones be bygones. Have ourselves some fun. He called me honey once. I don't remember. He did, I swear. I believe you. Probably didn't mean it. I got to admit, I done been hard on you from time to time. We could forget about that now. You reckon we could have some fun? I'm so ashamed of myself. Jerry Sam, for thinking that we could. I got a gun in my hand. 
You just say anything you figure I want to hear. I hate myself. I mean, I really do hate myself. No one we could have fun. Good Lord, woman, how do you expect me to believe you mean that? I don't even know what every woman wants. I mean, you've, you've read it in those magazines of yours a million times. You all wet and shivering, won't you? Uh, won't you come on out now? Come on, come ahead on. Uh. I laid you out a pretty dress. Come on in here. Make yourself look nice. Come on. There it is right there. Smoked oysters from Korea, said. Won't you, won't you try? They might be good. What you doing in there? Well, what do you think I'm doing in here? You better hurry it up. In about two minutes, I'm gonna bust down this door. What's that noise? Nothing. You come on out of there right now. <laughs> Thought maybe you'd done gone down a drain. I tried to, but I wouldn't fit. Woman, you really are scared of me, ain't you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Sit down. How's your wine? Empty. your eyes. I'll give you a surprise to make you wise. Where's my cookie? I thought you was going to give me a cookie. You might need these. Woman, you never learned, do you? Like a shotgun, you got to accident. 
I've been teasing you all along. You didn't have this coming to you ever since you passed me up hitchhiking. Terry seat. It's okay. I'm Martino. Uh, Calm. Uh, you all right? Uh, yeah. He's in there. How did you find me? It wasn't easy, Teresa. But you helped a lot more than you know. Bobby's okay. Who? Bobby Davenport. The little kid you saved his life. He's gonna be fine. I never knew his name. Isn't that funny? Yeah. I never knew his name. <laughs> oh, it's, God. it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, It'll be fine. Uh, 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 be fine. <laughs> 